so today I'm going to take you around in a tour uh, through the Canary community in Davis. <music> community is uh, was established in August uh, 2015 uh, I was actually present uh, when during the opening ceremony of this community it was really bare land and now uh, look at it I mean you can see through my window how it is um, completely built and mature um, it's it's been like uh, seven years almost uh, that uh, this community is was was not there uh, so anyway uh, the beginning of the community you will see uh, a lot of townhomes uh, so the the, the apartment the, the uh, townhomes or the condos were like three be three uh, f floors and more on the smaller side it caters to the young generation the uh, young professionals who don't have time to take care you know of the backyard the longer or the more you go deep in that community the more the the type of homes change and uh, now you will see more of uh, uh, single family homes uh, they still don't have backyard and the farther also you keep going the bigger the homes become and um, uh, more of a, a sense of a actual house with backyard front yard um, you know the, the space between the homes um, is very narrow and um, you know that just uh, speaks to the style of this community uh, as we go through, uh, you will see how uh, these homes are, uh, you know, they have a sense of style. So even though the inside uh, might not be very different from each other, but uh, the builder has built, has created this uh, exterior, which, you know, makes these homes not boring um, being next to each other. So uh, there is a clubhouse, which, uh, you know, uh, it's coming right here. Uh, the clubhouse, uh, it's really nice inside. You can see, you know, uh, it takes a good area and there is a lap pool inside. There is a party house. If you, if, if any of these homes has, um, you know, like a, a, a occasion, they can actually rent the space. So uh, all these homes are, contemporary style even inside and uh, they attract a lot of uh, UC Davis uh, professionals UC Davis uh, even investors uh, investors from out of area they like to uh, come here buy these properties and rent them because um, they, they do rent really well compared to other areas in Davis so look at these homes behind me they they are really um, you know uh, spacious uh, some of them are four bedroom five bedroom three bath so they do um, you know uh, they do feel like a home and not like an apartment or a townhouse uh, this is pretty much this is the last row of homes in the entire community and these are the larger homes that uh, are uh, in the cannery uh, I I think they are very uh, well built and they do have uh, you know solar system and these are some of the first homes. I think uh, this area would maintain its value would maintain its value over the years and uh, the price is here uh, around the one million dollars so definitely will go one one point four uh, these homes are actually you know they just uh, they, they back up to the open space which is the uh, you know some of the uh, big agriculture um, areas that's pretty much what we have I will definitely keep you informed about uh, a lot of things in this community uh, they uh, the only one thing that if, if I would to point out uh, one con here uh, is that the entire community has uh, two uh, exits so if you are in 
in this community and you all leave at seven o'clock, uh, guess what? You will have to wait in line. Uh, but uh, as you see on this side, this is facing uh, east. So the east side is completely open. Uh, some years they, they, they grow um, uh, sunflower seeds and sunflower plants and you will see the sunflowers all, you know, you know, sway and uh, I love to see them here. Uh, right now they just uh, had the harvest and uh, we have a street here actually called Harvest. So um, uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, your tour with me today and uh, I will tell you way more about the Canary than I just showed you in this video. So here I am still in the Canary community. Uh, this is uh, this area where I am right now. I just moved like uh, one minute uh, north of where I was just now. And uh, as you see, the, the style of the homes were, uh, has changed. So there are like more bigger homes, uh, four to five bedrooms, two and a half to three bathrooms. And um, though they are big homes, but the lot size is, is small, which, um, you know, uh, contributes to how dense this community is. So the homes are very close to each other. Uh, mostly they don't have that much uh, backyard space, uh, but uh, enough to, for the family to go outside and uh, you know, uh, enjoy that weather. So uh, right here behind me, as you see, um, there, there is also another covered area. So this is what you see right here. It's uh, again, entertainment for the community, maybe parties or whatnot. Uh, here we have, um, you know, some gym activities for the kids or adults or whoever is interested to use these uh, machines. Uh, it's a windy day and uh, I don't see much going on right here, but uh, the space is available. Uh, it's uh, surrounded by a lot of uh, uh, homes and anyone can walk in uh, to the space and enjoy it at any time of the day or the night, of course. Um, so let me just turn around and show you this style homes. This is also another um, playground for the children. And this area is more for the little or age uh, group kids. So this is more for toddlers. Just different. And it's just across the street from all these homes, you know. The community is just has it has a network of uh, bike routes, so uh, kids can definitely bike to school um, and uh, be safe when they bike because they don't need to be on the um, street with the with the cars. Uh, this is another just cozy little corner. And if you look right in front, right there, and that's the clubhouse for the community. So I'm, I'm just gonna walk in uh, through the fence. I'm not gonna get in today, uh, but uh, it is available for all the members, all the residents here. And uh, I heard uh, some uh, uh, like residents here where they feel they, the, the life in the cannery feels like a resort because of you know how close they are uh, the interaction between them and uh, uh, you know pretty much uh, collectively everything they they uh, they have contributes to that feeling so here you go
Now, one thing you need to know is that uh, when you live here, uh, there is a fee for the homeowners association, and it ranges between like one one twenty two to one forty uh, for the homes, the, the single family homes. So when you, if you decide to purchase these uh, townhouses and condos in the very beginning of the community, uh, the homeowner association fee goes much higher. So um, you really have to pay attention if you are trying to uh, move into the cannery or invest in this community. Okay, so uh, that's it for uh, today's uh, walk and uh, I will show you around the neighborhood how everything looks when you walk through uh, the community. So here I wanted to show you one of the Canary homes. Uh, this is uh, located in the south side of the Canary which, uh, which means it's uh, one of the first set of homes to be built in this community. Uh, it doesn't have a backyard, it's uh, like what we mentioned before, uh, this is a dense community. Uh, it does not have uh, so much entertainment, it's more for the young professional who is busy, uh, you know, uh, trying to build their lives. So uh, let's head inside the house so I can show you what it provides. So I'm taking you inside one of the cannery homes. Uh, this is a typical floor plan for the community. You enter uh, first floor and it is facing the front uh, road and that's uh, the family room. It opens to the kitchen area which is also uh, very typical of the cannery uh, kitchen styles and this is a standard uh, type of design so there is nothing really um, special about it or different about it uh, and uh, here there is this patio area which is what all the homes have so this is where your entertainment barbecue uh, get out from the indoor and uh, also you can there is a small grass area let me show you here so um, not much, but enough for people to enjoy the outdoor if they don't want to go to the community park. So now, um, still downstairs, there is a bedroom and a full bath right here. It's a typical 10 by 10 uh, facing the side. The garage is on this alley and there is a little walking here. And then we go upstairs just want to show you very quickly what this home has. I'm going to go directly to the master. That's the master suite. How much? It's about 20 by 20, uh, 20 by 16. Uh, this is also a standard style bathroom, just walk in shower, a regular tub. Uh, as you see, you can see the neighbors and their backyards typical nothing really so special um, and a spacious walk-in closet for this size toilet is here so pretty much that's your master again nothing so special about it it looks at the neighbor right there on this side you have uh, the laundry room and two identical size bedrooms with a Jack and Jill right here again that's the alley where you can um, you know drive in park your car and that's it that's the upstairs two bedroom with the master and downstairs. So as you see, that's not much to the house. And this is a million dollars. Uh, the price is 999. So this is the Canary community. These are uh, prime homes, all efficient 
and ready for someone to come and live here. So here is a 360 of this house in the Canary. Uh, it is one of the most standard homes uh, here. It has a four bedroom, three bath. Uh, it's a two story with the garage on the alley. Uh, there is also no backyard. There is only like a patio for barbecue or uh, you know, a small table. Uh, this kitchen, as you see behind me, is as standard as it gets. It's a, it has like standard countertop, cabinets, uh, sink, uh, everything except maybe for that faucet on top of the stove. That's an addition, I don't know why, but some people like it. Uh, anyway, uh, these uh, finishes are the same almost in the entire community. These are the standard uh, options when the ho these homes were built in you know starting 2014 and forward for three years you know these homes were built uh, so you see the town homes the condos and these single family homes have more or less the same finishes uh, now the farther north you go in the community the more luxurious these homes become and uh, you will see more of the uh, high-end options, uh, like the flooring, even the planks, the style, the color is very different. Um, um, the sliding doors are wider, and in some homes they have retractable glass doors which open up to the uh, farmland um, on, the, on the outer side of, of the canary area. So uh, we will see these in, uh, hopefully I can be, I will be able to take you in a tour to one of these homes. But uh, as it is, this home, four bedroom, three bath, in a standard style with no backyard, this home is listed today at $1 million. Uh, it is exactly uh, $9.99. And uh, so that's what you get here. Uh, these homes can be purchased by investors, homeowners, uh, and uh, you can definitely rent these for high price. Uh, this community is only five minutes by car from downtown Davis and from UC Davis. So it makes really a good living. It makes a good investment property and uh, it rents all year round. Uh, so you don't need to worry about that. There is an HOA fee for this, uh, you know, these homes. Uh, as you may know, there is a clubhouse, there is a pool and there is, uh, you know, so much to the community that the community offers. Uh, the uh, price for the HOA is different between all these homes, so they range between maybe 120, 122. Uh, that's for the single family homes. Uh, some of them, they have 136, 140. Uh, the smaller the units for the townhouses, the higher uh, the HOA fee. It goes uh, in some of them to uh, over $600, I believe 640, 630, something like that. But uh, you just keep that in mind. This is an extra fee that you need to be committed to when you move into these uh, homes. These are some of the walkways and pathways in Greenbelt. This goes all the way to the back of Pierce Lane. And uh, I am right now on the Canary Loop. And uh, the Canary Loop turns to um, on the back end, on the farther north end, to Pierce Lane. And these homes are on Canary Loop, but they back up to the homes on Pierce Lane. So as you see, they are very close to each other, even though they are big size homes, but uh, they are definitely, uh, they have denser population here. And that's the beginning of Pierce Lane. Uh, these homes, as you see, they were they were actually the model homes when these, this community, this street actually was built. So I was watching them being built. I came to the first open house in August 2015 and uh, that's like yesterday. Now it's 2022. So I'm here just showing you more variety of these homes uh, in the Canary. These homes have uh, their garages to the alley.
they don't have a backyard they just have a patio uh, for entertainment maybe barbecue size or a small table for a few people and that's about it so that's the fence right here that's the backyard So right here, we're coming to the end of Pierce Lane. These homes, um, there are like three or four of them. They used to be the model homes. So right here, this is one of the model homes uh, that used to be like a... So uh, that's it for the Canary community. You probably have noticed how groomed it is, very clean, um, very preserved. And uh, people who live here tend to be environmentally uh, 
aware 